Happy Vlogmas, y'all. So Vlogmas almost didn't happen. Uh, as you know, if you don't start something when you're supposed to, you may not actually start because, you know, procrastination. Uh, I had everything all scheduled to do Vlogmas. And then yesterday, uh, unexpected bad news happened. There was a death in the family. Uh, my aunt passed away. It was a very devastating just to find out that that was going on. It, it, it's just been rough. I've cried a lot in the last 24 hours. I can't imagine how my cousin is doing because her mom was her world. Uh, I, I love her to pieces. So uh, I decided that I wanted to actually do Vlogmas. I wanted to start Vlogmas out on a celebratory note. I wanted to tell everybody my aunt's quilt story. Uh, I asked my cousin if I could have permission because uh, I want to keep her as the first person to make any decisions regarding to her mom. And I got a little bit of an overwhelming okay that I can do it. Uh, I was very happy to see. Uh, I kind of teared up again because it meant that I could celebrate her mom in a way that she would enjoy. The story starts back in June 2018 uh, in uh, a rural area of Western Massachusetts. My cousin was hosting a shindig at her house. Uh, I think it was the first big event that she had. Uh, it was a really awesome thing. She had a whole bunch of friends over. Uh, I happened to be up there because my niece graduated high school. So it was very exciting to go see my cousin's new house. My aunt was there and she and I had done little bits of talk for a while and she knew that I did quilting and she pulled me aside and said that she had a fabric bundle that she wanted to give me. It was a, uh, I think it had 14 pack quarters. I'm not sure. Uh, she said that she had found it when they were going through her boyfriend's uh, mom's attic after she had passed away and she thought that I might be able to do something with it. I looked at the fabric and it was not anything that I would traditionally work with myself. Uh, I like the brights and these were very much more into the darks. And I said, what would any culture would do and say, and I said, I'll take it. As I was thinking about in the back of my head, maybe I can find something to make with it and gift it back to her. So I've been looking for a while for a pattern when I got home and it was, I couldn't find anything, couldn't find anything. I was watching, watching. And finally, Jordan Fabrics did this really awesome video on a pattern called Pop Art by Cozy Quilt Designs. And I looked at it and I said, that would be perfect for the fat quarter bundle that I was given. The next problem is I'm not good at coordinating these fabrics because they're not in my normal fabric color wheelhouse. So a few months go by and a friend of mine comes into town and his wheelhouse for fabric is those colors. So we went to a local quilt shop and did some searching around and we found a coordinating background and borders fabrics and decided you know this is what we'll do with it so we brought everything home and i started to get everything ready because there was going to be new year's quilt to you wilt uh in like two weeks so i decided that i would get everything ironed and i kind of was floored when i opened up the bundle the fabric was a lot more gorgeous than I gave it out to be. You know, you could barely see a little bit of the fabric when you have the back quarter bundle, and I didn't want to dig into it. And as I'm opening up the fabric, I'm realizing the awesomeness of the fabric. And then I managed to get a selvage in one of them, and I see that the fabric line is from Thimble Blossoms, and it was 
copywritten back in 1995. I was floored because that fabric was, well, not only older than I had been uh, playing with fabric, but it was older than, you know, even me graduating high school. Not to really admit to how young I am at times or old, depending on which way you want to call 1995. But it was amazing to be gifted fabric that is that old. So I ironed everything out. I did all the pre-cuts and I got the squares mostly done for the New Year's Quilt to You Wilt. And then as I was starting to get everything pieced together, we were given the sad news that she was diagnosed with cancer. I was obviously devastated to hear that. We know there's some awesome treatments in there. I didn't know what kind of level that she had or anything. But what was going to be her Christmas present for 2020 ended up being a you're going to want this to keep yourself warm earlier than that. So I got it all quilted up. And uh, while I was putting the binding on, I took one of those selvages and or the one selvage that was in there that said the copyright date and everything. And I made sure that that got put into the selvage just to have <laughs> that little bit of a record that showed the age of the quilt or the age of the fabric rather, and uh, got it all bound. And I shipped it off to her as a surprise. And when I saw that it had been delivered, I, I didn't know, you know, if she was up or anything. So I texted Angie and tried to nudge her into seeing, you know, is your mom awake? Is she okay? Has she gotten the mail yet? Because there's something out there for her. She was taking a nap. And when she got up, I got an awesome text from her. Just the joy in the words that I read where she was happy that she got the fat uh, a quilt project and she has so much life in that quilt in the fact that it was you know her boyfriend's mom's fabric so there's all that love into there and then i was able to give her some love in there by producing a work of art for her and that she loved it and uh i'm hoping that over the past few years that has given her lots of warmth and everything. And <laughs> and I'm just so happy that I was able to give her that little bit of joy while she was going through what she was going through. Uh, my cousin a few weeks ago told me that, you know, I'm one of the people that, how does she phrase it, that she loves to be jealous of or something like that. Uh, every so often she would go to her and say, have you seen what Russell just posted? I'm so jealous that he can do that. And she she was very proud of the work that I've done and everything. And I loved her to pieces for everything that she's done. She was a beautiful woman. And I'm definitely going to miss her. And. Oh. And just so you know, Angie, I love you too. Uh, I, I'm glad that. You are part of my life and everything. And I hope that, you know, we can grow old and share in a lot of the memories of your mom. So before I get to the point where I can't talk anymore because I'm wanting to cry, uh, just, you know, in memory of her, uh, I want to thank you guys for this little bit of time that I could share, 
Chechi Linda's quilt story with you and just let you know that every quilt does have a story and it's ours to give that story its start. Until tomorrow, take care.